Hello, I'm James E from Class 1 Equipment and I'm going to be giving you a short demonstration of the EVG 620 Master Liner. So, here is the system. As you can see, we have it powered up. When you start the system, you use the main isolator to put the power on, leaving the control panel off. Then you power on the lamp house power supply here with the power on, holding the start button down for between 3 to 5 seconds. That starts the lamp. Once the lamp has been started, you can put on the control rack. The control rack goes on, and then the PC down here starts. So that is where we are right now. With the PC started, I can go on to the desktop icon, icon for the shortcut to the EVG620 here. Double click on this, which takes me into the software, and click on the login. I log in. Now the machine initializes, moving the y-axis backwards and forwards, the tray up, and it's asking me to move the tray out to its out position. The cover comes down, and it does a quick separation contact. And we have initialized. I'm now going to select the recipe. The recipe I have here is for 4 inch and 3 inch substrate. We have a 4 inch mask holder and a 3 inch chuck. 4 inch mask holder, 3 inch chuck. I am running a top side transparent uh, process with a, with a continuous exposure and a hard contact mode. So I'm going to select run. and the system will now start the process. So, as you can see here, we have this bar here which actually tells us what the system is doing and what we need to do to keep the system running. It's asking me now to insert the mask holder and press continue. As you can see, the mask holder is already inserted. It's already in position. And I'm going to hit continue. Now I'm asked to insert mask with load frame. So load frame. Here is my mask. I'm going to continue and move the tray in as I'm told to. So now I'm asked to adjust the mask. So I'm on the right side right now. I can adjust the focus position here. And then the left side. I can click here to switch from left to right. Or I can select down here on these keys here. So I'm now going to adjust the right side. Sorry, the left side. Okay, and now I'm going to adjust the stage. Just to make sure everything is okay. 
perfect. I'm going to select continue. I'm going to remove my load frame. Continue. Insert substrate. The system now is going to carry out a wedge error compensation between the mask and the wafer. And then it's going to move into a separation. So unfortunately I don't have any patterns on my wafer. To see, and I don't even have any particles on my wafer that I can show you. But now I would normally see my wafer in the background that I could move around with my mask being held in position here. So I am going to continue. get the chance to readjust. I'm going to continue and now I will do a two second exposure. I can remove my wafer. I could now put another wafer on, but I am going to exit the recipe. It's asking me, um, I have a mask loaded, do I want to unload the mask? I'm going to select yes. I'm going to put my load frame back in, move my tray in, and remove my mask. my mask is really removed and I can continue or exit. I'm going to exit. So that is the short demonstration of the EBG 620 mask aligner. I will just quickly show you the serial plate on the back and show you that it's for ID 3240.